it's been months since the conclusion of the recapitalization exercise of microfinance banks uh, with more liquidity. What are the plans of the microfinance banks and how can they contribute to accelerate financial inclusion in Nigeria? Our correspondent, Ine John Makwa, had a conversation with the managing director of Davidani Microfinance Bank Limited, now DDMFB, and Mr. John Ologe and the chairman, uh, Prince Austin Enajimo Isere, on these issues and more. Take a listen. Now that you have successfully participated in the recapitalization and you have come out as a state microfinance, how do you intend to intensify your role in closing the financial gap that's encouraging financial inclusion in the Nigerian economy? The kind of money that the microfinance bank needs to really address this, they don't have it. They don't have it. And that's why the essence of the recapitalization to increase the capital base of the microbes, that they can have better capacity to address that. Even the one billion for a single microfinance bank, we not we still need to move on. This is just the first uh, level of capitalization. I still see CBN coming up in a few years with raising the capital base for the different categories of microfinance bank because they see a gap. They see a gap in this. The gap can be closed when the directors of microfinance bank we need to inject additional funding. They still need to in, uh, uh, inject additional funding. When microfinance bank started, to have a state microfinance bank was a capital base of 200 million. And you expect to set up branches in the state. So if you set up 10 branches, the whole 200 million would have been engulfed by the physical infrastructure and infrastructure. Then what is left for as a working capital? How much are you going to lend to the, to the, to the, to the target market? So I think that even with the recent capitalization, the government still needs to do more. They still need to raise it again, the ban. Those bans that couldn't make it, I'm sure they would be uh, existed in due course. So it's a serious business. It's not just uh, have a microfinance bank. You must have working capital. Thank you so much, Chairman of Davo Dani Microfinance Bank, for this time. Um, a lot of people would describe the Nigerian business environment as harsh, but some people have said in the midst of that there are so many opportunities. What do you see? From the perspective of microfinance, you know, the, the regulatory framework have actually defined our scope of operation and usually is targeted at the, those at the bottom of the pyramid, the active poor, and those that are underbanked, underserved, excluded for the financial. So those guys are always experiencing a lot of issues. But now talking about your question, you find out that people who start by seeing problems and challenges can never get a result. So in the midst of trouble, their opportunity. So it is that opportunity of which I always look at. That opportunity is what I search for. And I key it to two character in it in a, in, a, in a book titled Who Move My Chase. And you get that those four characters, two of them have already set their mind that they must get to the destination. And and two fell by the wayside. So what I would do all times is never to see challenges. I look at the opportunity there. It, it might be so catacheros, the economy is down, everybody is complaining. Why defeat yourself when you have not even started? Start. Take the first step of faith. Once that is done, and you stay focused, you are determined, and you trust God. Being with the right circle of friends, then you must surely get to identify the opportunity, harness it, and success becomes your story. And uh, bad debt has been an issue for microfinance, especially because you're dealing with people down the ladder who live, uh, earn every day and pay every day. Um, how do you, or how have you been dealing with that issue? How do you advise microfinance banks to handle the issue of bad debts? For sustainable uh, development in their companies. If you say there will not be bad debt in any every human endeavor, 
that you are really not yet in for it. Because the higher the risk, the higher the returns. Now, the issue of delinquency in the microfinance bank is prevalent. But there are mitigants. So the first thing is that how have you prepared your business plan? How have you prepared your risk management framework? How has your internal control system put in place? How do you frame them and make them work? Because I tell you, what you call bad debt in banking is called risk asset. So the asset itself from the one is called risk asset. So risk is with it, is following it. Now you are aware there's a risk. So the problem is how solved. How do I carefully arrange my credit portfolio in such a way that I can minimize to the barest minimum? Okay, to avoid those things. It's what has always been my focus. The prudential guidelines have stated that look, guys, you must ensure you maintain 95% prudency uh, uh, portfolio at uh, risk must be healthy and all of that. So I'm guided by that. I'm aware that people, even from the one, it's even by Blicker, have a mindset that when they borrow, they will not pay. We know that. So it's so a level of risk management that has been put in place helps you to identify that. You will have one or two that will definitely misbehave. You can't wish it away. So it, 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 that must be taken. But to say that your, your power portfolio at risk is in the region of 40%, 30% is not part of our dictionary because of our risk management criteria we have set up in place. And all full time, we also changed our business strategy. When we started, the initial thing was to do only macro. And we're doing what is called group loans granting them the artisans, the tomato seller, my 12, everywhere we were granting them. We were putting them in a group with a president, secretary, and all of that. But you find out that they were also defaulted. So we find, we change our strategy. And the strategy today is working well for us. Mm -hmm.